This is Demaris Degess, and I'm going to be talking about DFCU Financial. So before we get started, I wanted to go over what company culture is. So basically, company culture is the shared values and practices of the company, including their expectations, experiences, philosophy, and values that actually hold the company together. The company culture is shown in the way an organization conducts its certain business practices. And the most significant characteristic of companies that are excellent in project management is their culture. Competitive success can be achieved only if the organization has achieved a culture that promotes that necessary behavior. And as you can see in the picture, there are several different concepts that create the company culture. So in the Project Management Body of Knowledge book, in Chapter 2, Section 1.1, it states that an organizational culture affects how projects are conducted and that it has a strong influence on the ability to meet project object objectives. So because of this, project managers should be aware and understand the different styles and cultures and must reside in one that will benefit and grow their company. So going back to DFCU, DFCU stands for Dearborn Federal Credit Union and it was actually created in 1950 by seven Ford engineers. It is actually believed that the engineers pooled five dollars each to found what was first called the Ford Engineering Employees Federal Credit Union. They have since then expanded to 25 different branches and have over 200,000 members. They are now among the top performing credit unions in the nation. And as you can see from the bullet points on the screen, they have increased their net income by 318.7% since they started. So we're going to go over some cultural challenges that DFCU faced for a while. So from the beginning until 1997, DFCU's structure had no fancy methodologies, no business unit managers who were used, who were used to being formally and actively involved in projects, and they had no IT resources who were used to being personally responsible for specific deliverables. But what they did have was a shared core value of an outstanding service, which basically doing whatever was necessary to get the job done well. The cultural challenges that they had were directly affecting their project success in several accounts, including the lack of accountability for project execution, poor strategic planning and tactical prioritization. The projects were controlled almost exclusively by IT. Their project management was overly bureaucratic and they had limited empowerment. Now, although all these changes existed, they did persevere with their greatest strength of keeping the strong service culture. So, after 1997, DFCU started making some cultural changes. They took their value of outstanding service and turned it into concepts that people could actually relate to in their day-to-day -day jobs. They created the three guiding principles, which are listed on the screen, and in turn this gave them a common language throughout the company and helped them to keep moving the bar higher in many different ways. Over time, they elaborated these three principles further and created a list of 13 brand actions, which are the things that every employee can do to provide outstanding service. These 13 brand actions changed DFCU drastically. From 2005 to 2009, DFCU wanted to focus on improving their operations. 
clarifying their brand, and initiating effective project selection and ex execution processes. They had a major core system conversion project that allowed them to do just that. Since 2009, DFCU has continued to use their commitment to their brand values to conduct several projects that have allowed the company to grow, including merger and new branch projects. Their customer satisfaction levels, levels are always high and their assets have only increased. The key to DFCU's success is their company culture. It is said that staying true to core values is a sure way to sustain success over the long haul. Thanks for watching.